I'm live. What's up, boys and girls? Josh, Caro, Alan, how you doing? So I got a uh, two show night. I'm going to do this unboxing comparison of the mystery tackle boxes. Then I'm going to hop off and then at eight o'clock hop back on with Hellabass and do a little fishing talk with him. So that should be fun. What up, Alan, John? How you guys doing? Wild Gill. Good to see you. So, uh, sometimes I just feel like chatting, but if someone's uh, checking this video out just to see the comparison, I needed to kind of knock that stuff out first. Mystery Tackle Box. I got two different ones. Hey, Shannon, how's it going? <clears throat> Ron, Matthew. The Pro Box is the one that I've used probably more than any other box, uh, but I have, I've tried all versions, all flavors, all sizes. Um, so right now I am getting the Elite and the Pro Box, and I thought it would be nice to show you guys what you get for the money. <clears throat> Pro Elite. Now... You guys know, you guys, all you regulars that watch me, we did this the other day. This thing with shipping cost you 30 bucks. And you remember what you got for 30 bucks. Well, guess what? The Pro Box is 30 bucks, $29.99, free shipping. So it's the same price, same price as this. You get a lot more in this than you do in that other one. Uh, and, and, and I'll show you that. <clears throat> Now, the Elite box is one step up. It costs $10 more, so it costs $39.99, where this costs $29.99, $30 and $40. And uh, they give you pretty good value all the time. Uh, bull shads are in the clearance bin at Shields. Holy moly. Lunk of Bob. <clears throat> you got to jump all over that, dude. What up, Jeff and Chris? Frank? How you guys doing? Brandon, Bruce, Alan, Patty. What up? What up? There's somebody that's probably spammer. Get rid of that one. Uh, so I've gone back and forth on these, but I've really never felt like uh, I was wasting my money on either box. So <laughs> it really depends on your preference how much you want to spend and how much uh, stone man lures. What up, Pete? And how much you want to uh, get as far as tackle goes every month. <clears throat> now, if you're not a subscriber, you can get your first box box for 10 bucks, $9.99 right now over at uh, Mystery Tackle Box. Choose my code, Mr. Bass. <clears throat> so let's, I kind of got tied up a little bit, so I didn't have a time to put all the values together of these baits. I got the Pro Box. We may just go online if I got time and go with the Elite and show you. But <clears throat> uh, what you're really looking at is some similarities and some differences. Some of the similarities are that. Hold on a second. Uh, you're going to, in both boxes, you're going to get this thing here, Dibble Fishing Tips and Tricks by Carl Von, Von Dibble, KVD. And uh, sometimes people, I'm surprised when you look through this, how much good info is in these things. Uh, in, in years past, I've had a tendency to not even look at these, but I've been really looking at them closer lately. And there's a lot of cool info in this stuff, especially if you're new to fishing. So in either box, you're going to get that tips and tricks. Uh, although, as you will notice here, I'll show you. One looks very new, and this one looks like the old style. So they have different ones in the, in the box. 
Uh, they also put a sticker in each box. Some guys love stickers. Some guys hate stickers. And I don't think there's any advantage to the type of sticker you get in either box. This one is in the Pro Box this month. This is in the Elite. Um, I saw one guy posting his sticker collection uh, on uh, his, his uh, MTB sticker collection, which is kind of funny. All right, they do give you a card that shows you the retail value of each. And if you notice, um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight products on the Elite box, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight products on the Pro box. So one thing I've told you guys before, what up, Josh uh, and Justin? The thing that just used to bug the heck out of me when I spent the money on the higher end lucky box is they only gave me uh, the same number of lures, but they just give you two repeat lures of every type in the box. So if they were giving you 12 lures, they'd give you really six lures, two of each. And that used to just drive me nuts. So what you'll see on these two is, is the difference in value. Like... <clears throat> The top two baits on the Elite box are 13 bucks each. Pretty pricey lures. <clears throat> okay, the other thing that uh, Mystery Tackle Box does often is they will have one bait in their box that's kind of like their focus bait. Um, and like for, for this month, the Scout is the... The Junior Scout, the Guggen Junior Scout is the feature product in the Elite Box. And whenever they give you the feature product, they always give you a card that tells you a ton of information about that bait. Internal rattles, black nickel hooks, neutrally buoyant. Use the Junior Scout in water with good visibility. Junior Scout mimics the action of a rolling or dying bait fish. And then they'll tell you things like where to fish it, how to fish it. This is actually smart because I think there are probably some people who don't know how to fish a jerk bait at all. This actually gives you the techniques on how to retrieve a jerk bait in cold water or in warm water. And it is different for both. So that's not a bad, that's actually a good service, I would say. Okay, so let's look at the hard baits first. Then we'll look at the soft baits. Then we'll look at the terminal tackle. Um, uh oh, got some sick people. That's not good. So, first off, I've already shown you the Junior Scout. Look at that color. That is a great color. That's called Ghost Gill Snap. Dang, I lie. You guys know I love bluegill colors, but that's a very nice bluegill color. Uh, and that is one of their $13 baits, I believe. Let me look on here. No, it's a $9 bait, $8.99. Okay. Then they've got another jerk bait, the Spro McRip 85. And. <laughs> I got to admit, I've never tried this one. I've got a lot of the Mike McClellan Spro 110s, the McSticks, but I've never tried the McRip 85. How about you guys? That's a very nice color too. Kind of a sexy shad. They call it clear chartreuse. And that is what I would call a clear sexy shad. It's got a deep, big lip on it. Dives 8 to 10 feet. It's got a pretty loud rattle in it, too. Uh, anything with Mike McClellan's name on it is pretty dang good. He came up with the Rock Crawler. He came up with the McSticks. And I'm sure this McRip is pretty good, too. But honestly, full disclosure, I've never fished the McRip. And this is a $13 bait, $12.99. So that's what you're getting in the Elite so far. Two really nice jerk baits. This is the other thing that if I'm getting a monthly box, I want baits that work 
I got this box in January. I want these baits to work in January. You know, now hopefully the water you can fish, but nothing worse than getting a hollow body frog first of January, right? That makes no, no sense at all. Okay. Then they give you a rip bait, a, uh, a lipless crankbait, the Castaic CXV65. And there's actually one of these in both boxes. So both boxes has this exact same bait. And it looks like it's the exact same color, chrome black. And of course, these are very nice lipless crankbaits. And the price on these are $7.99. $7.99. Okay. And then the that's all the hard baits on the Elite. Let me show you the hard baits on the Pro Box now. Well, I just did. I just showed you all of them. There's only one hard. No, there's two hard baits. The Castaic. The Castaic and the Digger. This is a good bait. The Berkeley Diggers. Doesn't matter what size you get. <laughs> the Berkeley Diggers are really nice baits. This 3.5 inch, of course, is uh, a little more on the shallow side. That color is kind of cool. It's called Striper. It's got a bluish back. Yellow around the eyes and a nice... Looks like a striper, striped bass pattern. The digger's a very nice crankbait. It kind of reminds me of a Rapala DT, but it's not uh, it's not a balsa bait of any kind. It's plastic. All right, so if that's all the hard baits, then what else is in these things? Uh, good question. So let me show you... Uh, they got they threw some jigs in. So let's check out the jigs. On the elite box, the super expensive or the $10 more box, they give you a lifted jigs, 3/8 ounce sup jig. What's sup jig? Suncraw. This is $5 lifted jigs. And I've started trying some of these lifted jigs uh, because the lifted jigs have been in a, quite a few of the boxes over the last year or two. This is like an orange craw color. It doesn't say what color it is, but that's definitely orange and green pumpkin with a little brown in it. Sup jig. All right, so that's all the jigs in the Elite. Let's see this box. But there's two jigs in the Pro Box. First is the Justice Jig. Any of you guys heard of the Justice Jig? Know anything about it? This is a finesse jig. It costs $4. And if you go to Heart... Heart uh, Fishing is the company that makes these, hearttackle.com. They got a ton of different colors to choose from if you're interested in a Justice Jig. I'll take this one out so you can see it. Inset molded eye, flat head for better swimming action, stand up head for better presentation. So you can swim it, you can let it go to the bottom. It's kind of hard to see the jig head with the skirt completely around it, but you can see how flat the head is. It has a pretty big weed guard for such a tiny jig. And it's got a rattle collar on it. You can put rattles on it. The one thing I would say about this is... It's definitely not a hand-tied jig, and it looks like after several pretty aggressive bass, this skirt's probably not going to last a real long time. 
looks like the only thing that's holding it on is this rattle band on there. There might be a tie underneath it that I can't see. This color is called, hmm, I don't know what it's called. It just says assorted skirt. It is assorted. It's got black and blue and chartreuse and some purple. Pretty good looking jig. Uh, the Justice jig. Okay. That was in the Pro Box. And then this other jig that's in the Pro Box. Um, this is an Arky style jig. It's actually, it's called the Phoenix Jigs Sparky. Sparky jig. And it's a cross between a football jig and an Arky jig. To me, the head looks more like an Arky style head, though. Let me show you. It doesn't look very football-y to me at all. So when they say a cross between an Arky and a football, to me, that looks Arky all the way. But maybe it's made to sit on the bottom a little better. I don't know. And this has got black, brown, and purple in the skirt. And this is a rubber, living rubber jig. It's not silicone. The Sparky all-purpose jig, mustad point, three, mustad hook, three-eighths of an ounce. I was going to see what they say this thing's worth. Four dollars and fifty cents. <clears throat> so Booster says that Scott Martin fishes with this thing. Caught a six pounder on Okeechobee. Not a bad looking jig. I like this one better than I do the heart jig, the justice jig. Uh Mostly, not because of the look of it, it just looks to me like the skirt's going to fall apart on you a lot quicker on this Justice jig. <clears throat> All right, so that's your jigs. You got two jigs in the Pro Box this month, and you got one jig in the Elite Box this month. Now, here's a few things that there's kind of no comparison so I'll just throw them out there. I'll call these the oddballs. In the Pro Box, we all know about these bad boys, thanks to Steve. These are very nice little swim baits. I still don't know how you pronounce this, though. The Minwayo or the Minwow. That's probably the way it's pronounced. Minwow, is that right? Uh, these hyperlastics are not cheap. Uh, and, of course, they give you a swim bait head already, so you don't have to buy a separate swim bait head to fish with it. Uh, this is, you know, a silver shaddy color. Two and three quarter inches is the smallest size that it comes in. And uh, so that is, let me tell you what that's worth. That's worth seven dollars and fifty cents yeah that's right i'd look these up on the website and that's what i got as well 750 so hyper elastics super super durable this stuff lasts forever so you can catch a ton of fish with a four pack of these little swim baits and then in the elite box the live coppers live target sunfish now this is of i've got a bunch of these actually and where these shine for me fishing beds early spring fishing beds so you guys down in florida and texas you're just weeks away like steve said the spawn's probably starting next week so next week he could start throwing this on beds on and around beds if he wanted to and uh it's a very nice bait for for uh for that this one looks, it's four inches and three quarters of an ounce. It actually looks a little bigger than my 
live target sunfish that I have. I got a bunch of these. I put a few of these in the uh, giveaway buckets too, by the way. So that was in the Elite. Yeah, Josh, you can skip those. You can skip those as well. Uh, okay. Now we're on to soft plastics. And <laughs> there's two packs of soft plastics in each. So the Pro Box has a brand, what I would call a new bait. It's the Adrenaline Bug Junior. Now, the Exxon Adrenaline Bug has been around for quite a while, but I think the Juniors are pretty new. It's got Polinek on the front. And uh, this purple shadow is kind of a cool color. I'll take this out. Hey, Mason, how you doing, man? It's a very nice little beaver style bait, you know, and it's small compared to a regular beaver. It's about half the size. It's not half the length, but the diameter, the width, it's a, it's a small beaver style bait. And of course you can, you know, very versatile. You can, you can fish these a ton of different ways, obviously. So that's the three and a half inch Adrenaline Bug Junior. And Exxon, there you go. Josh says Exxon is 20, has 25% off till the 31st. So if you just want to go buy some Exxon lures, that Ned <laughs> bait that Exxon makes looks really off the charts great. Okay. You don't see... Uh, a ton of Lake Fork trophy lures uh, anymore. I remember when these things were really hot and uh, everybody seemed like was throwing Lake Fork uh, products. I don't see a ton anymore. This one here is a wacky worm that they call the hyper whacking worm. Let me show you. No, no, no. I'm wrong. This is the hyper stick. The hyper stick. And you can see it's got these, it's a stick worm, but they've got this like sliver of plastic and sliver, sliver of plastic. It kind of makes it obvious that you could, you could uh, wacky hook it right here. It's going to give it you know, much more of a flexible action uh, in the water. The only thing I don't know is how durable this little strip is, you know. I think those are going to tear up real easy. I do really like this color, though. Um, I like this color a lot. It doesn't say on the package what they call this color, unfortunately. One thing that uh, Lake Fork lures are kind of famous for is they're all impregnated with garlic. So they're fairly stinky. And, of course, you know, there's some people who swear by garlic. I love garlic scent added to my bait. You don't have to add it with the Lake Fork lures. It's already built in. Yeah, Mason, I think it will break easy. Um, be my guess. All right, now in the Elite box, this is the soft plastics you get. I love my Grandi bass. This is another bait that I really think is overrated or underrated. I, and As in, I don't think nearly enough people fish these guys' products, and I really think they're very good. This five-inch airtail shad is basically a fluke, but it's got a funny little tail on it, kind of like, it kind of reminds me of that uh, squirrel tail that Crete had on the big bite baits, but the difference, the difference with this little squirrel-like tail on this fluke, you can see it's the, the the this part of the body looks 
very, very similar to a fluke. But this tail is hollow. See, there's a hole there. And uh, it's very buoyant because of this kind of air chamber in here. But if you want to get creative, you can also put a rattle in there if you wanted to. I probably would not put a weight in it. That would not make a lot of sense. Uh, one, not that you don't, there are times when you, it's, it's a good idea to weight a fluke, but this, in my opinion, would be the wrong part of the bait to put a weight in for a fluke, but you could definitely put a rattle if you wanted to. So, you know, it's just kind of a unique, clever twist on a fluke. And, uh, this, this is, uh, an eight pack. It's called the five inch air tail shad. And that color is a sweet color shad spawn. <coughs> rattle. There's just, or uh, Mason, there's just these little cylindrical rattles and you just stick it right in that, in that hole there. Very easy to do. All right. And then, a pack of Lighthouse uh, Lures, the Mini Shad from Lighthouse Lures. This color is called Root Beer. Six pack. This thing they say is six dollars, five ninety nine. Ten mil, one hundred and ten millimeters long. Interesting color. I probably would not like this color at all if they didn't have any flake or fleck in it. But with the fleck, I kind of like it. I don't think I would want just a brown looking swim bait. These things are super slippery, super slimy. Has a little hook slot in it. Look how greasy. Look how greasy my fingers are from holding it. Root beer. Not a bad looking little little uh, swim bait either. Okay, and then the only other thing that's in these boxes is, uh, like I said, there's two, four, six, eight baits, or eight items, not baits. There's eight items in each box. So this month, you're paying ten dollars more for the elite box, really, just to get the premium, the more premium style baits. So thirteen dollar baits and ten dollar baits, nine dollar baits, compared to compared to the uh, pro box. So they both have some terminal tackle, and not really what I'd call very exciting stuff. A two pack of Spearpoint EWG hooks. Again, you guys know how I feel about a two-pack. I don't know that you can buy a two-pack on the market. I think they come in a six-pack normally. Or Eagle Claw three-pack EWG hooks. That's it. That's what you get in the box. So which box do you think you like better? Um, I would really be interested to see what you guys think. I'll try to kind of just do a couple of little comparisons right now side by side real quick before I wrap it up. So if I were to take, uh, all right, on the, on the right is the black box, the Pro. On the left is the red box, Elite. Pro, Elite. Okay. Both very good baits, I'd say. Then let's do Pro Elite. They're the same. Then you could do you could do this one. Pro Elite. They're both little swim baits. Which do you prefer? This is in the cheaper box. This is in the pricier box. Elite Pro. 
Elite Pro. A lot of pros. Kind of a toss-up. I agree. Kind of a toss-up. The Elastec is going to last you longer, though. <laughs> All right. Then you've got... I don't know what we... Let's compare these. Pro, the black box. Red box. Black. Red. Pro Elite. Dang, that's kind of tough, too. For me, I like this better, though. I would take that. Okay. Then we're down to not much left to compare, but let's do this. Another pack of soft plastics. This is in the Pro Box. This is in the Elite. Pro Elite. I know they're not apples to apples at all, but uh, the Pro Box, you got the Adrenaline Bugs, the Elite. You got the Sunfish. All right, then uh, the only thing left to compare uh, in the... We can compare these two jigs, Justice Jig versus Lifted Jig. This is in the pricey box, cheaper box. Justice or Lifted? Justice or Lifted? That's kind of a... To me, I think I like the Lifted Jig better. And then last thing to compare... McRip versus the Sparky. Again, not apples to apples. Kind of an interesting deal because both boxes, in my mind, are very good this month. Um, I really, when I look through this, these boxes, there's not much here I don't like. Um, that one heart jig, Justice jig, I'm not super crazy about. But man, I don't like the hooks. I'd prefer better hooks, and I, and I don't like sample packs and the hooks. But everything else, to me, looks pretty, pretty sweet. Really, really good. So the difference is <laughs> 30 bucks versus 40 bucks. you know, what you want to pay. You're definitely getting pricier lures uh, than in, in the Elite box. But all in all, I think there's value to both boxes. I really do. And that's hard. It's hard for a company to really do this month in and month out. In fact, uh, Steve, you know, last night on the show was talking about how disappointed he was in the major league fishing box this month and you guys know i'm pretty disappointed in that dark horse tackle box this month uh it's hard to crank out a box every month that's really worth getting fisherman 83 says he'll take both boxes for 20 bucks well wouldn't we all but you can get by your first box for 10 bucks if you go on and use my code mr bass uh it's uh there's some exciting things coming out at carl's uh the more i spend time at carl's club the more i like it over there i just feel like your 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 dollars are being sp well spent there they've got a couple of really exciting things gonna happen here in the near future that all the details are not out about so can't talk a whole lot <laughs> Curly Q, $30, you can get three Randy Block at old school jigs. <laughs> oh, man. He's taking a beating on that. I even chimed in and said, geez, Louise, dude, you can't stand the $15 uh, jackhammer, but uh, a $10 jig is perfect. Um, so I thought that was kind of funny. Um, you can use my code, Julie, anytime you buy something over there. Yeah. 
Uh, I don't know where it will help you and where it won't, though. Uh, that's just kind of up there. For 75 bucks, Randy will have one. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny. Uh, I, you know, I like his channel. I like watching his stuff. I think he's got a lot of good stuff, but he's not consistent when it comes to money. There's times when he'll say some things very practical. Don't waste your money on that. And it seems really smart and wise. But then he then he says, hey, the Mega Bass Jerk Fate's the best jerk bait on the planet. It's $25. He says it's an amazing jerk bait. Not because it's the, well, I can't speak for him. But come on, he's sponsored by them. Uh, I love Mega Bass Jerk Baits, though. I buy a lot of them. I got a lot of them. But there are a bunch of $10 jerk baits out there that are fantastic. So I got to hand it to him, too. He is, he cranks out a video every single day. Now, they're not complicated videos. It's turn on the deal and just talk about a technique for five minutes every day. But he literally does it every single day. Very, very very interesting that he can keep that going every single day. So, so uh, I agree with you, Julie. If you're watching your pennies and you want to save money, Carl's Club is no joke, man. They don't have everything. Obviously, they got there's things that they don't have. But before you just go spend your money at Tackle Warehouse or any of these other places, check Carl's first, especially if you're a Carl's Club member. I'm amazed at how much money I save on Tackle over there. Bro, he has nothing else to do. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, okay. I hate to say hi and run, but I'm running because uh, I got to get ready for my show with Hella Bass at 8 o'clock. So in 20 minutes, I will be back, and we'll do the hell show with Hellabass. If you want to hop on, please join me. I'd love to have you. Please smash the like button before you go tonight, and uh, let us know what you want us to talk about. We don't have a lot planned. We're just going to be talking fishing. So if there's anything you would like Hellabass and I to talk about tonight, think about it. Let us know in the chat when we when we go live. So take a 20-minute break, and I'll see you back at 8 o'clock Central, 9 o'clock Eastern. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. See you.